there is one other thing I want to show you. It's it's a chapter three topic, but it's not really something you use in chapter three. So let me show you this real quick. Suppose I have my my two x minus five, and then down here I've got a different equation. I'm hoping this will work. X squared. Uh, I don't know minus two x plus four. Let's graph that and see what it looks like. I'm just making this up as I go along. Oops, nope, those don't intersect. All right, hold on. How about if I make it insert negative graph? Awesome, there we go. Okay, couple things. There's two points of intersection. There's the one you can see on the screen and the one you can't. So first thing you want to do is if you want to find both points of intersection, you have to make it so the window's big enough to see both points of intersection. So let's go to window. And if you notice, we were missing stuff on the low end. The low end is net y min. Always remember, it goes left to right. x min is the left, x max is the right, y min is the low, y max is the high. So I'm going to make y min negative 20. And now I'm going to press graph. There's the line. There it is. Okay, so I can see one point of intersection and another. All right, so now let's go second calc. Pick number five, which is intersect. And it's asking us the same curve questions it was before. Yes, that's my first curve. Yes, that's my second curve. My guess, I'll just move over here to the right. There, my, my blinker, my cursor is closer to this one, so it's going to find this one. So I press enter and it finds that one. That point of intersection is around about 1.6, negative 1.79. Cool. Okay, so I would write that down on a sheet of paper, right? And then I have to find the other one. Now notice, see what's going on over here? You're going to lose what's happening behind this writing. Right? When it starts writing, it's going to write over where the cursor is supposed to be. So it would probably be a wise move to go to your window and actually make your y min even lower. Let's try negative 30. And while I'm on the subject, let's change the scale. Let's make it like 5. There we go, that's much more presentable. So it's negative 30, negative 25, negative 20, negative 15, and so on. All right, so now when the writing shows up, because the writing, remember, dominates the bottom portion of this graph, it won't mark off what I can't see anymore, or won't block off the intersection anymore. So let's go back to calc number five. Yes, that's my first curve. Yes, that's my second curve. Yes. You've got to move with the left arrow. Don't go up and down. Up and down is just going to hop you around right between the curves, which isn't what you want. Let's go left, 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 left. Just make it so, honestly, all you need is that the blinker is closer to this intersection than it was to this one. So you were okay kind of halfway over here. Then you press enter, and there it goes. It's now found the other one, negative 5.6, negative 16.2. All right, that's how to find intersections when one of them is curved and how to find them when there's more than one. I hope you enjoyed that. And I think we are done with Chapter 3. I will see you guys later for Chapter 4.